Hello everybody, now I'm having a BMW E60 with active steering error here. I'm scanning the car to see what faults we have. Now the steering wheel on the exact straight position. Go to health report. I think, but I'm not sure if this car came earlier and performed active steering startup and everything went okay but now I will see what errors we have here I think it's only initialization so I will clear all DTC special functions chases startup continue continue yes continue it's pretty on straight head Engine off, ignition on, continue, continue, yes, continue, continue. error here. First break. Start engine. Continue. Wait a little bit. Maybe you need to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then start engine. Continue. Continue. Continue last one then begin to move 
steering wheel continue Customer told me that this sign sometimes come on, sometimes go. <clears throat> okay, we'll take it for a drive test. To see if it come back again or not, as you told me. Okay. Now after about um, two minutes of driving, um, came back again. So we we'll go back to see what falls we have here Here we have engine position sensor. Hmm. That error is only one wire on the big connector, which is having uh, not heavy wires for the motors, but small wires. And it's around uh, 14 pins or something like that. Now I will go back and raise the vehicle to see that wire okay and repair it if necessary okay we will raise it and come back from the right side here you can see the location of the connector we need to work on it okay there is a wire coming from outside from that part to that part here is the connector okay we may need to double check that wire that coming out from that side to that side directly okay we'll double check that and see from that side here we can see the connector and the wire coming out from that side directly to the other one okay with the wire already cut in here see that with a broken pin inside so we will cut that wire and connect a new one okay I cut the old one and connected a new one okay now we will lower the currency now and after connecting the wire and lowering the vehicle I have the same error sign here and a little bit heavier steering wheel so now I will scan see what we have now I think maybe calibration error but I'm not sure anyway we will see now
Evet report. That what I expected. AL engine position sensor history, and that one is correct. So we will calibrate the active steering. Start up. Make sure it is in a straight position. The exact straight position. Continue. Yes. Engine off, ignition on, And then we'll go for a drive test for a distance longer than we triggered the fault code the last time. So maybe 5 minutes or 10 minutes. The last time I go for a drive test, it only took around 1 or 2 minutes for the error to come back again. Now it's only okay. So I'll go for the drive test. Okay. Now and after driving for a couple of minutes, everything here seems to be okay. Okay, and that's it.